Hi guys, welcome back to SSA Athletics. I'm Adam McCarthy and today we're going to be looking at long distance backlift in running. And whether you need to have a massive backlift like what the pros do. If you like what we do, check out our website, check out all the Facebook socials and make sure you smash that subby. Okay guys, welcome back to the workout garden. And what we're going to do is show you how they run, the elite runners, and how some of you might look at it and think, I don't run like that, should I run like that? And the reason why you see the elite runners with a massive back lift, something like this, where they come up, they come through, and that. Okay, so that's more of a sprinter's action. Nonetheless, in a running, it's gonna be more of a swing through. So they come, they swing through and go there, and they have, still have this massive back lift. As you can see from this video and images I'm showing you now, Partly is because they have a longer stride length. When you're eating up the ground more, you get that longer stride length, you kick through, you're going to have to bring it up at the back a little bit more. Also, they're going a lot faster than your average runner, meaning they will need a higher back lift. Now, most people when they're running, they probably come through, stick the leg through and they do something like this, or the video I'm showing you now. And we really got to get out of that running phase, but know that if you have a good smooth running technique, you probably don't need a massive back lift. And the average person is probably not going to get a massive back lift. These runners are elite for a reason. They train every day. Also, they got the bodies that suit them. They got the body. Also, they got also they got the bodies that suit them doing long distance running. There's a, people who are broad, it's not because people don't play rugby because they're, it wasn't rugby that made people broad. It was because they were broad and they found out they were good at rugby, so they played rugby. And it's a similar thing with long distance running. These guys are relatively tall, relatively long legs, massive legs. And that's the way they naturally, they're also naturally very skinny and thin as well. And one of the reasons for this long gangly limbs means they get a bigger, much bigger back lift and a much longer stride. So should I be worried that I can't potentially get that stride? No, you have to do what's best for you in your running technique. And not everyone's running technique will be the same, even though we have a textbook guide. I'm Adam McCarthy of SSA Athletics. I hope you like this video. Make sure if you want to find out more about long distance running and the master himself, Elliot Kipchoge, I recommend watching this video here. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.